Oh, got the mismatch. Mismatch walking. Stop flopping, man. See, that's what your stupid get. What up, Hoopers? Welcome back to another breakdown. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Mikael Bridges. He just got traded to the Brooklyn Nets at the trade deadline. They basically gutted the roster. They're rebuilding, quote unquote. But I got a hot take. I think the Nets actually won the trade deadline, man. You get Mikael Bridges going off for a career high in his what is this his first game as a net first or second game as a net cam thomas dropped in three straight 40 point games once he was allowed to green light they got rid of Kyrie and kevin durant they let cam thomas go to work i think the nets might have came out of the trade deadline as the winners now we break down the best performances from around the league the most high scoring performances ideally and uh bridges dropped in 45 points so let's jump into this film let's see where mikhail got his points from let's get right into it y'all first play right here iso on the wing Attack middle. Oh, getting a bucket on Jimmy Butler. He's got the ISO right here. Now, pay attention. Jimmy Butler has that left foot up top, so he's forcing Mikel to his left side. So he's planning his stagger stance right here. And on this channel, we always preach attack the top foot. So you need to attack this top leg, go right here. And what that does is it forces him to open up those hips to recover. So he sees that. You see right there, Jimmy starts to open up. Opens up. Takes him to the middle. Little shoulder in his chest. Jimmy sold out right here. He actually reached for the ball. You can't really see it from his camera angle, but he reaches for the ball. And then that gets him that uh that bump. He leans in at the wrong time, right as Mikel is going right into his chest. Boom. Gets the space. Go up for the shot. Oh, they got Ben Simmons in the game, huh? He must he didn't start. He came off the bench. Starts off with a pick and roll down here with Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons gets the uh gets the ball. Look at all the help defense that drops down once Ben Simmons catches it in the paint. And this is one of the keys to a a, a dynamic offense, man. Paint touches. The more touches in the paint that you can have on a possession, the better chance you have of scoring on that possession. Because if you get in the paint. As you can see here, it attracts three defenders. So now you have two guys along the perimeter. If they get one of these passes, then one of these guys have to come out and close out. Now you attack that, you get back into the paint again. Same thing, you kick the ball, you get some ball movement. Catches, puts a dot right on Mikel in the corner. Just finish it with three. ISO up top, crossover pull up. This one's pretty simple as well. He just has an ISO. There's a little crossover right into the pull up. Defender's giving him that space. A lot of cushion right here. He's trying to beat him to the spot because he knows he has this nail guy coming over. But before he puts that ball down again, he goes right into the pull up. Good shot. Handoff, same action. This is the same play as the last time. Previous play, we see a screen up top. Catch on the wing, right into a handoff. This time we got the screen up top. Catch on the wing, right into a handoff. And then we get the same action. Same, same result. Take him right down into the elbow, pull up jump shot. So this is something as a as a trainer that I would look out for when I'm making up drills and programs for, for athletes. You want to look at the sets that your team runs and you want to know where your shots are coming from. That's going to determine what kind of drills you need to do. You need to be able to score wherever the offense dictates you to get the points from. In this case, for the Nets, Bridges knows he's going to get these ISO opportunities right here on this left elbow or right elbow. And for the last two possessions, he's got the ISO and he's done a pull-up jump shot. That's something that you pay attention to so you can teach it down to other kids so they know I'm gonna be open on this spot. I need to be able to hit this shot. Coming around. Good take, and one. Double down screen, double floppy over here on the weak side. Catch, gets the screen from Ben in the middle. And then he's just attacking, attacking on his angle. Same thing. If I'm creating drills for, for Bridges, something that I'm paying attention to is the angles at which he's catching the ball. 
So if I know he's going to be catching the ball off of these double down screens, stuff like that, I'm going to do more work with him coming at this angle, coming around here. So every drill might start here and then curl tight around a cone or a chair or something like that just to be able to attack on that angle. Basketball is not really a linear game anymore. It's really about the angles that you could take and how tight you could curl to the basket. Right up and one. Mm, good rebound. I don't like this. This guy doesn't look like he cares. Ball goes up. He looks like he's just going to go jump for it. He doesn't even think to box out. Even though, well, granted, that's not his man. But he doesn't even think to find him and put a body on him. That's something that everybody has to has to attempt at least. And is, I'm seeing it really like disintegrate the lower that it goes. High school, they don't do it. College, they're doing it less. In the NBA, they're really not really doing it as much as they used to. But that's a very fundamental part of basketball. Shot goes up. You got to find the closest defender to you and put your hip on him, put a body on him. In this case, he lets him walk him down all the way under the paint, doesn't even look at him. He never takes his eyes off of the ball. And then he gets out jumped because Mikael Bridges had better position the whole time. And he didn't find him. He didn't put a body on him. He got out hustled, out rebounded. Find Mikael in the move. Good move. Mm. Very fundamental. So, first things first is the baseline drift. Notice how he starts here, but as Cam Thomas is dribbling this way, Mikel's going to slide over. He's going to drift more and more to this corner right here so he can create a better passing angle. Pay attention. He's drifting. He's drifting. So then when he catches it, this defender... He's closing out, so he's thinking, I got to close out and I got to cut this angle off right here because he's drifting all the way over here. And pay attention to what he does. He catches and he fakes this way just to get the defender out of his way. Catch, jab to the inside. Real subtle, but he's drifting over to the baseline. Catch, looks inside, freezes 31. Then he gets down into the paint. Pump fake. Real simple. I don't see the pump fake enough. Gets down here. He's got a jumpy defender. He's attacking. He's got a head of steam. And it looks like he's going to meet him at the rim. It looks like both of these guys are just going to, you know, go up vert for vert and see who could get there first. Pump fake stays on the ground. Gets 24 out of position. Great play. Very fundamental. Oh, got the mismatch. Mismatch walking. Stop flopping, man. See, that's what your stupid ass get. I hate I hate when I see this, this shit, man. And I'm, I'm glad the ref didn't reward him for flopping. Because he's clearly flopping. You're allowed to back a defender down with your shoulder. You're, you're allowed to do that. That's basketball. He's backing him down. He's backing him down. He puts a shoulder in his chest. And he just flies backwards yeah you, you you shouldn't get rewarded for flopping it's a bullshit play that's what you get he should have got his finger stepped on yeah <laughs> that would have made me so fulfilled if you flop you fall you don't get the call you give up the bucket and you get your hand stepped on I'll teach your ass to, to stand solid down there next time I think we should get rid of that call altogether. I don't think charge is a is a good call or blocking foul. If somebody beat you to the spot, they beat you to the spot. If you decide to fall, that's on you. Now, granted, you shouldn't be allowed to just run motherfuckers over, but ISO on Jimmy. Ooh, good move. Good move. So he's got that ISO on Jimmy again, and this time he chooses to dance with him a little bit. He's attacking that high foot just to see how, how Jimmy's going to move. You see Jimmy's reacting to every dribble. He's changing his stance every time he changes hands. You see he's got the ball in his in his right hand, so he's forcing him to the right. Ball goes in the left. He's forcing him to the left. Back to the right. Opens up again. Comes back to the left. Now he opens up again. And then a crossover. That's how he got him. But Jimmy's such a great defender, man. He still ends up to get 
back in front of him and contest. Now, granted, he did foul, but that's still a great contest. But if anything, guys, that's how you attack a good defender. You want to, if he's going to move with every dribble, you, you give him one this way and you cross over. That's unacceptable. That can't happen. I look like they both got on the floor. Yeah, but he said, fuck that. I'm getting up. I'm finna get this bucket. I'm I'm be honest. The two plays that I've seen from this guy right here, I'm not really liking his effort, bro. First play, he didn't box out. He just let Bridges get a rebound right over the top of his head and then just moved out of the way, let him get a bucket. And then here, you see they obviously both end up on the floor. Bridges gets up. And goes to get the bucket. He still gets up. He's not that hurt. If you can get up there, you can get up sooner. He just gives up an easy bucket. And he's not even... You know, he doesn't look like he cares. You never want a player like that on your team that just doesn't look like they care. Catch up top. Good pull up. Just take him right down here. One, two, into the pull up. Two dribble pull up. One of the best shots in the NBA. One of my favorite shots, personally. I wish we could get everybody back shooting two dribble pull ups, but nah, they want to shoot 30 foot fucking three pointers with a, at a 28% at a clip and then try to argue with me on Instagram like that's a good shot. Can't make this shit up. Good cut. Yes, sir. Once again, 16 getting beat again. Come down here. Royce O'Neal has it on the wing. I mean, there's really no need for him to be that far into the paint anyway. Royce attacks. Bridges sees his man is all the way over here. He's lacking. He's not watching the ball and his man. And he just cuts back door. Look at the wide angle he takes too. Just a small detail to pay attention to. There's a difference between cutting like this and cutting like this. Because when you cut on an angle, you kind of sneak behind your defender's line of vision. He still has peripheral vision, so he can probably see up till about this far on the baseline. If you cut straight straight past him, he's going to see something coming out of here. But if you cut on an angle, he's probably not going to catch it. So look at how he cuts. He cuts on that wide angle right along the baseline, catch, finish at the rim. Yeah, man, shout out to Mikael Bridges. Brooklyn don't look so stupid after all. You you gutted the roster, but it looks like they got some, some young players on there that can actually hoop. And now that they don't have the big name stars dominating the ball and dominating the headlines, they actually have a chance to go out there and play basketball to be free. I don't know what the hell they're going to do with Ben Simmons. I don't know if he's going to be on there by the end of the season. They might just buy him out and let him let any team that wants to take a chance on him take a chance. So it looks like they just traded for his replacement and he's probably going to be out of there by March. Till next time, we out.